Kenya has a very youthful population. The 2019 Kenya National Bureau of Statistics population census indicates that 75% of the population is under the age of 35. Demographic dividend represents the opportunities and potential economic benefits that can be realized when this youthful population enters the workforce and contributes to economic growth. Our countries must create conducive conditions, including investments in education, healthcare, job creation, and policies that promote economic development. This requires substantial efforts in infrastructure development, government reforms, and private sector growth. In 2017, Kenya developed a demographic dividend roadmap to guide in making strategic investments in health, education, and training, economic and governance sectors. All this is aimed at ensuring that we utilize the potential of the young people, enabling the acceleration for social economic development, which will lead to a better quality of life for all. Health is not just a basic human right, it is the very bedrock upon which our families, societies, and nations are built. Access to quality health care, including family planning and good nutrition, can transform communities, elevate poverty, and drive economic development. We must acknowledge the connection of these critical issues. When women have the ability to plan their families, they can make informed choices about their health, education, and economic participation. This empowerment, this empowerment not only benefits individual women, but also ripples through families, communities, and entire nations. Let us be the champions of holistic health, economic prosperity, and, be, and the well-being of our families, both as individuals and as a collective force. Our roles as mothers, wives, and leaders compel us to advocate for comprehensive health care services that encompass prenatal and maternal care, nutrition, education, and access to contraceptives.